Welcome to this foster film, Math Made Easy. We're going to talk today about plotting points on an XYZ coordinate space. I can tell you, uh, as a former student who learned to do this, I was very confused. Um, the whole scenario didn't make any sense to me at all. My teacher showed a solution on the board, and I was working on the same problem at my desk and looked up, and his point was plotted in a different location than my own. And uh, with an X, Y coordinate grid, there's no wiggle room for the location of your points. It's simply at that intersection of grid lines. And with X, Y, Z coordinate space plotting, things are a little different. So let's take a look and hopefully we can simplify uh, the process. And if you're having difficulty with this, uh, we can help now. First of all, a quick review. Here's an X, Y coordinate grid. And I've got grid lines here just going three units in every direction. With an X, Y, Z coordinate space, we've got not just an X and a Y axis, but an X, a Y, and a Z axis to contemplate. Now, you will find in different textbooks, different websites, that the X and Y axis system here might be swapped. In other words, the horizontal line that you're seeing now, which is labeled as axis X, might be labeled as axis Y. And the Y axis here that is moving toward you could be labeled as an X. And I don't want you to worry about that. Um, we're gonna be able to figure out how to plot points in three space here whether we're talking about an x-axis that appears horizontal or a y-axis that appears horizontal. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make that same checkerboard floor on the x-y coordinate plane. So what we have here are the same grid lines that are on the x-y coordinate grid now appear, and it's really only the first quadrant of grid lines. Those now appear on the XY coordinate plane, kind of the floor of this XYZ coordinate space. And we'll label those numbers 1, 2, and 3. And the first challenge is to plot on my XY coordinate grid the ordered pair 3, 2. And if I challenged you to tell me how to plot that point using the terms right, left, up, down, you'd say, hey, Chachi, this is easy. Just go right 3 and up 2. So you would then get the, the red point plotted here. And that's the order pair 3, 2. Now, let's go to 3 space and plot the order triple 3, 2, 0. That means I have to find the X grid line at 3, the Y grid line at 2, and see where those two intersect. Using the checkerboard floor that you have drawn in front of you. That point is that small purple point that you're seeing lying on the checkerboard floor here. That's the order pair 3, 2, 0. So the order of my order triple goes X, Y, Z. The Z coordinate here is 0, telling me that the point will lie on the checkerboard floor. Let's take a look at another where the point lies above, floats above the checkerboard floor. We're going to label our Z axis 1, 2, 3, 4 and be challenged to plot the order triple, three, two, four. Notice the X and the Y coordinates are identical to the last order triple that we plotted. So we are gonna go to that same purple point, and from there, plot our Z coordinate. See how this clock ticks. So if I go to three, two, I can now arrow up parallel to the z-axis, arrow up four units. Each of these arrows has the same length as one unit on the z-axis. And I can tell you one area where I was very perplexed as a student was the fact that it doesn't appear that my point is four units high. It doesn't go up to the four on the z-axis. Well, here's where you need to realize that these points are being plotted in perspective. So hopefully you can see four arrows floating above the checkerboard floor, 
and that will indicate to you that we have indeed plotted a point with a z-coordinate of 4. So the rules of the road here are find the first to the ordered pair on the checkerboard floor. I kind of like to put a little X there. X marks the spot like if you're a pirate. And then from there, plot the z-coordinate. In this case, the z-coordinate was 4, so we drew four arrows heading upward. Those arrows parallel to the z-axis. Each arrow has a length of one unit on the z-axis. Arrow up four units, plot your point. You have successfully plotted the ordered triple 3, 2, 4. Now your question next is, yeah, but sometimes I'm asked to plot negative numbers and I'm not quite sure how to do that with the system that you have. After all, the system that you have presented for us goes in the positive direction, uh, three units on the X, three units on the Y, and four units on the Z, with no indication of how to plot a negative number. Let's get an example of negative number plotting now. So we're going to plot each point here, the first of which is going to be the ordered triple negative three, two, four, Point B is going to be the order triple 2, negative 4, 3. And C is going to be the order triple 1, 3, negative 2. So here's an X, Y, Z coordinate space allowing for negative numbers. You can see it looks quite different and more complex than the last one we were looking at. But the axes are labeled identically. So... Here comes some notches on the X and Y axes. We're going to use those to create a checkerboard floor. This checkerboard floor will be quite, more, uh, quite a bit more complex than the last problem. But if you are, were able to understand the checkerboard floor in the last problem, uh, this design will make sense to you now. Let's take a look at this checkerboard floor. Here are the uh, grid lines that run parallel to the y-axis in both the positive and negative directions and those that run parallel to the x-axis in both the positive and negative directions. I'm going to take the time now to plot the x-axis positive 1, 2, 3, 4 and negative negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. I'll do the same with the y-values 1, 2, 3, 4 negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So hopefully at this stage you're looking at the picture and saying, hey, I can at least start plotting point A. I believe with this checkerboard floor I can locate the ordered pair negative 3, 2. That's negative 3 on the x-axis, positive 2 on the y-axis, and where those two grid lines intersect is where we will put our X marks a spot. Just labeling some Z axis units there, positive uh, and negative numbers up to four. So here's that point A um, where the X marks a spot occurred at the ordered pair negative three, two. That's the point that lies on the checkerboard floor. And then we arrowed up four units to land the ordered triple at location negative 3, positive 2, positive 4. I got a little ahead of myself here, but hopefully you can follow uh, by color what's going on. We are now plotting the ordered triple point B. I first need to locate the ordered pair 2, negative 4 on the checkerboard floor. I go on the x-axis 2 units. I go on the y-axis to negative 4, I see where those two grid lines intersect, and draw an X marks a spot. From there, I arrow up three units, and I have successfully plotted point B. Let's look at point C now. Maybe you can find with your eye the ordered pair on the checkerboard floor, 1, 3. This is going to be the first thing we need to find before arrowing down two units. Well, one negative three has a small purple X which locates that spot on the checkerboard floor. 
From that point, we can now arrow down two units and plot the point C. So that is the long and short of plotting points on an XYZ coordinate space. And hopefully that makes clear sense to you. Remember this, you don't improve as a mathematician by chance. You improve as a mathematician by choice. So we appreciate you being here and giving us your attention. And uh, hopefully we can be of help for you in future Foster Films. Over and out.